What's going on everyone, Mr. Deathwish here. Uh, so today's video is going to be a little bit different of a video and this is actually for my fellow tradesmen and women, uh, construction workers, you know, landscapers, anybody who works outside for long periods of the day. Um, now, obviously, these are going to be things that you know, but this is uh, just my experience and uh, you can tell by the title of this video I'm not, uh, I'm not knocking Walmart for their clothes or anything. And I'm not saying don't, you know, don't buy from Walmart, you know, because obviously if that's all you can afford, then I'm not going to tell you otherwise. But as a construction worker, and I'm a construction land surveyor. So for those of you that don't know what a surveyor is, I am in all different types of terrain throughout the job site. I'm in regular sand, regular dirt, mud, clay, lime rock, water, bayous, you know, retention ponds, you know, gumbo clay. I'm in all different sorts of terrain and I have been buying, you know, boots from Walmart for, you know, quite a couple of years now. And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to knock you for buying from Walmart if that's what you can only afford. But what I am going to say is as soon as you can buy a better pair of boots, buy a better pair of boots that are US made that are from either boot barn or even from, uh, you know, one of the main manufacturers like Justin Ariat, you know, Red Wing, anything of any, any brands like that. You know what I mean? What I'm basically saying is Walmart boots, their material has changed a lot in the last four years. So what I mean by this is, and I'm going to show you example right here. All right. This right here is a pair of Herman Survivor boots. All right. They're Walmart boots. All right. See? material is absolute shit on these boots all right my toe was starting to poke out of the boot there all right i had bought the same exact pair of boots four and a half years ago when i first started working construction as a construction land surveyor and they lasted me four years all right four years and I also had a pair of Justins that I had bought from Rural King, which they were also made in uh, Indonesia, which they didn't last as long as they should have. They only lasted me about two and a half, maybe three years, but let alone, they were Justins, they were pull-ons, and they were waterproof, they were steel toe, they were work sole, you know, the whole nine yards, all right? Now, those Herman survivors are $65 at Walmart after tax closer to you know 70 all right i'm not going to knock you if that's all you can afford but please take my advice when i say this walmart does not have it in their best interest for quality footwear at a higher price because at 65 dollars for a pair of work boots you would think those would last you a good little while, all right? That's the second pair of Herman Survivors that I had, the same exact pair that I bought four years ago. Those pair being my second pair, they lasted me three months. And then you saw the lip, the, the sole hanging off there. I apologize for the washer in the background, but the sole started coming off after three months of use. Meanwhile, the previous pair, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. That's a big difference in material in four years, all right? Now, there are plenty of different brands out there that you can go with, all right? It doesn't matter if it's Irish Setter, it doesn't matter if it's Justin, Ariat, Red Wing, you know, whatever, you know, Wolverines, for instance, it doesn't matter what brand you go with, but please 
please take my advice and buy from a different you know supplier like boot barn or rural king or tractor supply co or even from the main manufacturer websites if you can afford them don't settle for cheap boots if you're trying to save money because it's not worth it you're just gonna have to replace them in a few months and at that point it's not worth it and depending on how long you're going to be working said field for it's you know you're better off spending a little more money for more quality and longer life on your boots especially in the world of construction because like i said i'm in all different kinds of terrain i can be in you know i can be in the bayou one day and then be on you know just straight dirt all day the next day or mix of both throughout the day i'm in so many different types of terrain that i need a good solid quality boot that will last me a good while now obviously there's mink oil and lotions and stuff that you can use to preserve the lifespan of each boot but personally i don't have time for all that nor do i care to do all that but just take my advice and spend a little bit of extra money on a good quality pair of boots when you have the money and if you don't have the full amount i'm going to show you an example right here okay I just got these today, all right? These are $194 brand new. With promo codes, I saved $40 through PayPal and also by looking promo codes up on Google, all right? Knock the price down to $166. And I'm making payments through these through PayPal, all right? For those of you that have PayPal, you know that you can search stores through PayPal and you can make payments. For those of you that don't have PayPal, take my advice, go sign up. As long as you link your debit card, you can make payments on items. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as the store you're looking for supports PayPal payments, all right? I went to Boot Barn through PayPal and I placed the order for these. The total cost after promo codes was 166. My payments originally at $194 were $50 every two weeks, and it's four payments of $50. Now, with the promo codes knocking the price down, the, the payments every two weeks are now like 30 ish roughly around $30, $40 every two weeks. That's not bad. You saved $40, and your every two-week payments went down by using promo codes. Take my advice. Go for a little bit more expensive of a pair of boots if you work construction, landscaping, you're in different types of terrain like I am. Because at the end of the day, granted $160, anything over $100 is obviously expensive for a pair of boots, but you're going to have a lot longer lifespan and it's going to be more comfortable and they're, you know, they're not going to tear as easily. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not knocking people that buy shoes from Walmart, boots from Walmart. I've done it for years, but I've honestly gotten to a point in my life, especially the line of work that I do, where I have to have a good solid pair of boots that will last me a while, that will be comfortable because I'm on my feet for 10 to 12 hours a day in all different kinds of terrain. And it just gets to the point where it just gets so uncomfortable and walking around with the lip just flapping all day long, you know, it, and, you know, not only does it make you feel like shit because you don't have a good pair of boots, but it also makes you feel like shit because everyone that works around you is laughing at you because you have a shit pair of boots. So just take my advice, look into PayPal and look into even a credit source like a firm and make payments on a good solid pair of boots. I'm not knocking people for buying stuff at Walmart. But the, Walmart does not have quality in their best interest at high value, well, quote unquote, high costing footwear. I've I've seen it time and time again where Walmart footwear for, you know, $60, $70, even $100 just doesn't hold up after a couple of months of, of working in them. And at that point, it's not worth it. There's no sense in spending $60, $70, or even $100 at Walmart for a pair of boots if they're only going to last you three months. At that point, that's practically stealing money from you, in my opinion. So...
for the fellow tradesmen and women that work construction, landscaping, outdoors, and you're on your feet for long periods of the day, take my advice. I'll link the uh, the link to paypal.com in, in the description down below and uh, let me know what you thought of this video, if it's helpful, and um, you know if there's any questions that you might have uh, as far as you know what boots to look for for whatever line of work you're in. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.